tearing apart Rasputin's neural network. And if he does enough damage, he could trigger a chain reaction that will devastate Mars. All I know is we have one advantage left, the Valkyrie. I'll never trust Rasputin, but we'll need every weapon we have to stop Zorg. Even one that's powered by a war mine. up guys I'm XHD Bandit and welcome back to the Geeks 189 and of course welcome back to Destiny 2 Warmind. Now um, right now I'm actually playing the Will of the Thousands mission and um, as you guys have probably already gathered from the little introduction there um, in this mission uh, Zol is actually tearing apart um, Rasputin's neural network and we pretty much have just got to go in there and we've got to stop him. This is actually the last mission of the Warmind campaign uh, hence I'm hoping as you guys noticed the slightly different intro that was on there. Um, but anyway so we're literally just going to jump straight into it guys and uh, And we're actually just going to make our way into the uh, into the area underneath here. So this is actually um, Alton Dynamo that's, uh, that's through here. Currently we're in Dynamo Approach. Um, so we're on Mars of course and we're actually going to head in here now into uh, Alton Dynamo. Rasputin's core, we can use the excess energy to overcharge the Valkyrie. I think that's our only chance of really hurting Zol. Right, so let's make sure that our weapons are loaded. And then we'll go for it. Alright, guys, just to update you all on uh, my loadout, I'm actually currently using, uh, of course, the, the same rocket launcher I've been using in the previous videos, um, which is, in fact, this one right here, the Classical 42. Um, and then I'm using Uriel's Gift as my secondary, as my auto rifle in fact and I'm actually using the crimson hand cannon um, since currently I actually have a masterwork that I'm trying to unlock on there and that is precision kills so guys if you don't already know on the inhibitors. Then hit it with everything you've got. Alright guys, so if you don't already know, the Crimson will actually reload itself and even generate ammo on precision kills. It can also actually recover a little bit of your health on precision kills too. Um, as you guys may have been seeing. So I'll just try and see if show that off to you guys now. I'll take a little bit of damage from this thrall and then if we get a presume kill on him there you can see I heal almost instantly so you guys just saw an example of that there I was stood in the fire and as soon as I got the precision kill right there um, my health actually came back Currently my masterwork objective is actually to get a specific number of precision kills. Um, 
as I'm sure you guys just saw when I showed you the masterwork, it didn't show me how many precision kills I had to get, just told me a percentage. Um, I've also been working through the Sunshot on my main character, and it follows a very similar uh, strategy, so I had a percentage of enemies to simply kill with it, and that I also had an objective that was actually to use the Sunblast ability of the Sunshot to actually take down groups of enemies. So, for those of you that aren't quite sure what that is, that essentially involved killing enemies and then using the resulting explosion that the Sunshot causes to actually kill enemies. Since, as you guys may know, the Sunshot itself actually makes enemies explode when they die. Alright, so we're just going to go and open up the inhibit event now. Attention! Neural net inhibitor offline. Core power levels rising. Continued fluctuations will result in a critical failure. All personnel are advised to initiate safety protocols. Remember, a safe work environment is a happy work environment. Oh no. With the inhibitor offline, the neural network is going crazy. I'll try to stabilize it. Defend the area. So we now need to take down the inhibitor that's in here. Just throw the back into that. Core power levels approaching critical overload. Personnel are recommended to evacuate. Then, so we'll just make our way through the next section.
this, we'll just go and open the final uh, vent here. We just really need to jump up here and shoot into the inhibitor like we did last time. Great work! Get to the core before it goes critical. It's time to forge a new Valkyrie. That's all we've got to do for a start, guys, is just survive until we hear that the Valkyrie comes online. We could really use the Valkyrie. Let's see if we can land another shot on it with this. So what we've got to do now is just fight our way over to um, the Valkyrie. So we'll take everything out before we pick up the Valkyrie, um, so that we don't have to use it on the enemies within the room. There we go guys, so we'll now pick the Valkyrie up. So all we actually have to do now is we just have to throw this into the center of the floor. Complete core meltdown initiated. If you can hear this message, you are too close to the core. The Valkyrie is surging with energy far beyond what my sensors are capable of analyzing.
we'll just go back guys and just make sure that we've got all the ammo that we need. So it doesn't look like we can actually go any further back, so we'll just carry on making our way through. He's actually brought some enemies in now for us to take out. So just try and take those out quickly.
right, so every time we see him turn purple, we need to make sure we trim him so we don't get thrown into the scene.
all did. We're a team now, Anna. A good one. Bray family shaped me to be an all-seeing savior while your vanguard sought to wield me as a primitive weapon. But today, that ends. And I define the reality of my own existence. My sight will stretch to the edge of this system and beyond. Never again will a threat go unseen. From this day forward, I will defend humanity on my own terms. I am Rasputin, guardian of all I serve it. I have no equal. What have we done? Don't worry. We've got this. Okay guys, so, that was the Will of the Thousands mission, and of course, that was the conclusion of the Warmind campaign. Uh, so, now we actually have finished the campaign, and we are now uh, in the end game. So, um, the next thing that we actually have to do is, uh, as you guys can see there, we've got a little Warmind icon over towards where Anna Bray is right now. So, we'll go and speak to her and see what she has to say. And, um, then, that will be it. So, we'll just make our way over here and see what, we, what it is that we actually need to do. Are you familiar with the phrase, be careful what you wish for? Yeah. It's something that's been running through my head since watching Rasputin launch a brand new war set network under his sole control. I should be afraid. Any rational person would be. But I'm not. I know without a question that no matter what comes next, we can face it together.
Okay then, guys. So, um, as you just heard there, and also explaining what we saw in the cutscene at the end there, um, Rasputin actually launched his own Warsat network that uh, he had sole control of, and was not controlled by the Brays or by the Vanguard. So, he's now, as he said in his word, protecting humanity on his own terms. So, Anna Bray has spent decades searching, but now all her answers are within reach. You have earned her trust and appreciation. With Zol defeated, she wants you to help her dig into Bray's secrets and uncover more of her family's past together. Okay, so as you saw just then, we actually just got another objective there. Um, victory Enduring. So we actually have to return to the tower and speak to Zavala. Um, which we are actually going to go and do now. So we'll just redeem these little pieces that we've got here. And See we'll actually later. just go and do that quickly. You have any so we actually need to, as you guys heard there, go to the tower now. So, we'll now go and do that. Okay guys, so... Of course, now that we've finished the, uh, the Warmind campaign, um, story-wise, there isn't actually that much more to do. Um, there is a little bit of the lore side of things to explore still. Um, we've got a, a few sort of side missions that we can do. Um, but, of course, as far as story goes, we're actually now done with uh, pretty much all of Destiny 2 and Curse of Osiris and Warmind's um, story missions. But we do, of course, from the base game, from Curse of Osiris and from Warmind, still have an absolute ton of side and end game missions and uh, activities to carry out. So we will actually now, for the next few weeks, be going through those. And of course, we have to pass a bit of time until September, which, as you guys, I'm sure, have already seen from E3, which actually happened the week just gone. Um, Destiny 2 Forsaken is actually now on the way. We now know that Forsaken is going to appear in September. And um, I'm sure that you guys have seen that shocking new... Um, teaser trailer that uh, dropped during Sony's E3 conference. If you haven't, then make sure you go and check that out now. Um, I won't tell you guys any more about it, uh, but I'm sure by now you've probably all seen it. Um, but as I say, if you haven't, make sure you go and check that out. And um, then in the next video, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about um, Forsaken and uh, what I think to the reveal that happened a couple of weeks before that, what I think looks good, and maybe what I think doesn't look so good. Um, for now guys, I will say, uh, with regards to Forsaken, I actually haven't seen anything in any of the uh, information about Forsaken that's disappointed me so far. But, of course, as I say, we will talk more about this in future videos um, when we're rounding up some of the end game content and some of the side missions. So we're now going to go and talk to Zavala. The Traveler's Light has illuminated a path into a world of immense change. But the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. How we choose to navigate that path, that will define us for years to come. But in all this uncertainty, one thing has never wavered. And that is my faith that you are the one who will lead the way forward. OK, 
Okay, guys. So, Zavala will never trust Rasputin, but for now, he'll put his faith in Anna Bray. The future may be uncertain, but he is reassured knowing he has a guardian he can trust. You have earned his praise by destroying Zol and saving Mars. So, um, as a result of this, he's now offering us uh, one of three rewards. Unfortunately, we can only get the ones on the end here. That's the Warlock reward. Um, I do actually already have this, but we'll collect it anyway. Okay, so we've just got another mission there. Speak with Anna Bray. Anna has something interesting for us to investigate. So, we're actually going to, for now, um, we'll just have a quick look just to see what that is. So, it's actually a side mission, guys, so we're going to actually leave that there. Um, and we'll actually probably do that in the next video. Um... So, yeah, um, as you guys would have just seen there as well, um, and I'm sure you're aware if you play Destiny 2, Dead Orbit actually won last week's Faction Rally, and, um, of course, as you guys will now know, um, each of the um, Faction leaders are actually um, now offering the exotic uh, masterwork catalysts for three of the weapons. So, Future War Cult over there, um, Lakshmi 2, is actually offering the Sunshot Catalyst, which, as I mentioned, I had been working through on my other character. Uh, now, Arak Jalal, over um, with Dead Orbit, he's actually offering the Graviton Lance, um, that is the, the Graviton Lance Catalyst. Um, and finally, over at Mnemonarchy, um, with Executor Hideo, um, he's actually offering us the Sweet Business Catalyst. So, of course, um, that provides three catalysts there, but the bad news, guys, is that they are only available during faction rallies. So, if you want to get your hands on those in the next Faction Rally, you are going to need to choose the faction which you believe um, you most your want the catalyst the of their weapon. Never forget. And um, once you've decided which catalyst you want, you want to pick the faction that has that catalyst, and then you want to keep farming and farming and farming faction tokens endlessly. I actually did this um, the entire time the faction rally was running. I did manage to get the Sunshot Catalyst from Future War Cult. In the next one, I probably intend to go with Dead Orbit, um, so that I can get that Graviton Lance um, Catalyst. And then, of course, in the third one, I may actually go and try and get the Sweet Business Catalyst as well. Um, but, of course, that's for another time, guys. And uh, for now, we have actually completed War Mines campaign. So, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please, please go and drop a like um, on this video. If you have any suggestions about anything at all, then of course make sure you go and drop those in the comments below. Um, and of course if you have any suggestions or any uh, anything else that you want to mention, then of course drop that in the comments as well. Um, and of course guys, if you haven't subscribed yet or you're new to the channel, then make sure you go and do that now. And of course, Hit that little bell as well, just to make sure you get notifications about when our videos go live. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.